And here's my review of Jungle Cruise, directed by Jalmi Kaletsera, starring The Rock, Dwayne Johnson forever, <laughs> Emily Blunt, Aka Ramirez, Jack Whitehall, McGregor, is Jack Whitehall, Jesse Plemons finally, <laughs> Paul Giamatti. Veronica Falcone and Pedro Lopez. All the way back here in 1917, we have the, you know, trying to finally get the even more sought after ancient treasure of Aguari of the Spanish Conquistador centuries before. Who were trying to hide this gold in the Amazon, but the Amazon took over them. Oh, they were trying to get the wealthiest, but now it's the richest history because of how they got taken over by the Amazon and they are going to be revealed as soon as you see the surprise <laughs> of how they come back to life because they're literally preserved in the Amazon because of what the Amazon did to keep itself safe and keep their treasure safe. So, Lily Houghton <laughs> and McGregor Houghton, her brother, they go ahead and go to the very top of the most elite traveling possible meeting. You know, so they can tell everyone that they're going to go find this treasure again, finally. Yes, the 400-year-old Spanish conquistadors have been preserved from these, with these ancient snakes. So, Lillian McGregor are trying to find what's the greatest transportation. Well, we cut along to this unforgettable jungle cruise with the least appreciated jokes given by a Frank Wolf the Skipper. <laughs> yeah, you know. Hey, hey, you know, two cans, they have an awesome game. But the only thing about it, only two can play. Oh. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know those statues my girl once knew was cross-eyed. It just didn't work out because we couldn't see things eye to eye. I can't stand these jokes. It's so funny right there. <laughs> and it's so funny how it's the most deadpan. You know, you know how he is playing, who's playing Frank <laughs> forever. So Lily especially gets to know Frank and they are on the Jungle Cruise expedition finally. And there's the first backside of water. <laughs> so, yes, uh, her and McGregor along with Frank, you know, having to keep... You know, his boss, Nilo, happy. Oh, please do, Franco, Frankie. Yes, because uh, he does these tours and Nilo's the promoter and everything. So, yeah, so they're trying to go get this treasure for the right reasons. But at last, we just want to win the ball. Because Prince <laughs> Joachim... Has to take over somehow. His evil German prince <laughs> set during World War One. <laughs> is trying to take over. Yes, it actually is. Yes, because we actually find out Frank's connection to the Amazon and his ancient treasure. Dun dun dun. And you're so glad that just it is Lily <laughs> and Frank forever being, you know, the wittiest, you know, back and forth duo. Is <laughs> have the back and forth now because after they get the treasure and things are fine in the Amazon with the ancient conquistadors and everything, <laughs> the things are fine. Then, uh, yeah, her and Frank, they actually become partners and you see how... Yes, and it's just the craziest, of course. Get on board for this e-ticket. <laughs> the actual ride. It's so funny and crazy, of course. How you know, this dedicated explorer and your nothing too nerve-wracking brother 
you put on literally the ride of their life when they find this jungle cruise, find this unforgettable skipper, and then find out the skipper's actual story, which is amazing and unbelievable. <laughs> you know, it can actually happen, but it's amazing. <laughs> it is so funny. Because you know, already got you know African Queen similarities, but um, yeah, Lily and McGregor, they actually remind me of uh, Evie and Jonathan from the Mummy movies. <laughs> you know, Evie has stayed in the library most research. Well, Jonathan, this will make me even more well known. I do deserve this kind of recognition. <laughs> Yes, so they do remind me of, even though McGregor is a little more cautious than Jonathan was. You know, Jonathan was more headfly. Let me have a let me have a go with that. Oh, darts shoot right past him. Oh yeah, the mummy take out. You know what the mummy took out. <laughs> yes, so they do remind me of them in the mummy movies, and of course it is similar. You know, in the early 1900s swashbuckling exploration. And most unbelievable, best popcorn. To join me the last four. It's being unbelievable having this popcorn and see how it uses some real history. Like the mummy, like actual like ancient Egypt and everything. And here, you know, going back to the Spanish conquistadors and everything. <laughs> so how they try to use real history. Yeah, but you gotta see the rest, like. That's the whole review again. Go check it out, please. <laughs> so it is so much fun. It's crazy, of course. I would have liked a little bit more of, you know, Lily. You know, actually surprising Frank with, you know, uh, how she can be tough. Not just book smart. Yes. And uh, a little bit more of McGregor warming up more and more of, you know, not being on the sidelines. Not just... Being an extra researcher, but also stepping up here and there and surprising him. Yeah, a little bit more Frank. You're wanting to reveal more of his past. You see how treasured his past is. But uh, it's really cool. And it is such a fun throwback, of course, to all of the classic adventures back and forth. And their sense of humor works so well together and in this kind of crazy adventure. so much fun forever. You'll never forget yeah, there's a trade of sound, most unbelievable. <laughs> How first and last is already the richest. <laughs> I'm just being anywhere near the Amazon and away from Prince Joachim. <laughs> so you gotta check it out, of course. Like, even more like, yeah, you gotta check it out now. <laughs> so please check it out. Please like, subscribe, please hit the notification bell. You know when all new videos come out, and these videos will last you finished.